I'm Dr. Daniel Neely. In this short video, we will review the basic equipment and examination techniques for performing a comprehensive strabismus evaluation in a pediatric patient. I'll also review a few things such as room setup and testing strategies. The first thing I'd like to discuss is basic room setup and what are the fundamental pieces of equipment that you should have in the room uh, to perform all elements of a comprehensive examination. Ideally, the room length will be longer, 6 meters or 20 feet. This is particularly helpful when performing strabismus measurements for conditions such as exotropia. A power chair is also particularly helpful for elevating patients up to the appropriate examination height. If a power chair is not available, simply have the child sit on a parent's lap. I find it useful to have all of the equipment within easy reach. Consolidate off to one side or the other of the examination chair. To record your examination findings, it is also helpful to have a template which has specific strabismus elements. Measuring stereopsis should be the very first examination element performed. This is because occlusion will disrupt fusion. When testing visual acuity, the chart chosen must be calibrated to the length of your examination room. While Snell and optotypes are ideal, the optotypes used must be age appropriate. Occlusion with an adhesive patch is preferred over using a handheld occluder, a bare hand, or a paddle type occluder. All of these can be cheated with. Optotypes should be presented as a full line rather than as single letters, which will tend to overestimate visual acuity. However, using crowd bars with a single letter optotype is an acceptable alternative. Matching cards can also be useful when testing younger children. Allen figure optotypes, while easy to test with, are not recommended as they tend to overestimate visual acuity. Leah symbols are a better alternative as they tend to be more uniformly constructed and consistent. I put it higher so I could reach you. How about that? Let's see. Oh, do you want to look at some pictures today? Let's look at some pictures. Mm. Oh, look what I have here. Look at all of my pictures. Somewhere on there is a duck. Can you point to the duck? You are so right. Can you find the house and point to the house? Yeah. Well, where is the Christmas tree? That's right. How about the horse? Do you see the horse? Very good. Where is the car? That's right. Mm -hmm. And I think I see a bear on there somewhere. Do you see a bear? Pretty close. What about this guy? Does he look like a bear? Yeah. yeah. Now, we're going to do some magic. We're going to put all of these pictures up here. Cool. Oh, look up there. Can you tell me what that picture is? Yes. It is a tree. What's this picture? Bam. Awesome job. What about this one? Him. Very good. What's this one? A car. It's a car. And what about that one? Very high side view. Now, we're going to do some, a game with the pictures. We're going to play peekaboo, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a peekaboo patch on our eye and look at pictures, all right? And then when we're done with it, we're going to take it off. <laughs> so we're going to do it on this side right here. It may tickle your eyelashes a little bit. Oh, and there's our peekaboo patch. Now, look up at my tree. Oh, we got lots up in there. I have two pictures up there. Can you tell me what those two pictures are? What's the first picture look like? How is a house and what's beside the house? You got it. I have three pictures. What are those three pictures? What's the bear? A bear. And what's the last one? Very good. Let's see if we can see some smaller ones. What about those guys? I think the first one looks like a Christmas tree. What do you think? Uh -huh. After we do this one, we will. Can you see the Christmas tree? Yeah. What's beside the tree? 
cake? A cake, you're right. What's the next one? Uh-huh. Okay. And a hand. Very good job. Give him that. Okay. Switch so the HRTV and just have that point to a building. Okay. Now we're gonna do this. Uh, almost done. You were being so yeah. good with that. Would you like some stickers? It's part of the game, buddy. All right, we're getting yeah. some stickers. <laughs> Look up there. Do you see okay. that? Can you point to the same one here? You're right, that's the O. Look up at that one. Can you find that same match? It's the T, very good. What about that one? Awesome job. Can you find that O? Yeah, there you go. For near fixation measurements, I prefer using a toy that I can hold in my mouth while leaving my hands free to hold the prism bar and occluder. Both a horizontal and vertical prism bar should be available. Also, it is useful to have handheld loose lenses when measuring vertical deviations or those deviations in small children. Halberg trial lens clips can be helpful when trying to determine if a patient needs more plus or would benefit from a bifocal. These are used to place additional plus lenses over a patient's existing glasses. You then repeat their near measurements and see if it improves with the plus lens. If it does, then they may be a good candidate for a bifocal. Stand up between mom's feet for a second. Go for a little riding here for a minute. Up, 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 up. Can you rest your chin right there? Can you rest your chin right there? Look at his arm. up just a little bit. Okay. Look right here at my ear. Good. Look right here. There you go. Come on, buddy. Look how good you are. And now I have this, and keep watching the movie. Is he in off? Look down here at Emo. Good job. Good job. Where's Nemo? And now I've got this little flashlight. I think it cannot be stressed enough that good retinoscopy skills are critical to being a competent pediatric ophthalmologist. My personal favorite retinoscope is the Welsh Allen because it tends to be brighter and easier to manipulate. I also generally feel that it is easier to perform refraction in children using either loose lenses or a skioscopy bar. The ability to use a binocular indirect ophthalmoscope is another one of those indispensable skills for a pediatric ophthalmologist. Now that we've looked at the equipment requirements, let's take a look at the actual examination technique and put it to use. Can you put those on? And then we're going to look at a fly. And my fly is in the book. Look at my fly right there. Can you reach out there and pinch his wings? Can you grab and pit? There you go. Good job. 
Now I'm going to show you some animals. Look at these guys right here. Does one of those animals pop out of the book? Can you put your finger on the one that pops out? Very good job. Now we're going to look at another one. Look at these guys. Which one pops out there? Very good. And what about here? Which one pops out? Good job. Now we have some dots up here. Look at those dots. Put your finger on the dot that pops out. That one right there. And then let's try these guys. Which one pops out? A little bit of all of them. Okay, let's do one more right here. Is there one there that pops out? Very good job. Let's take these off. Get off my TV. Can you put your finger on the one that's the same? You're right, good job. Which one matches? It's the V, very good. Which one matches there? That's right. And what about there, where's the match? Good job, let's do one last one. Where's that one? Oh, look real close, look up. There you go, good job, very good. Awesome job. Do you see this, do you like animals? Do you know who this is? Okay, it's not right there. Is. Who is this? Is this a monkey? Yes. Okay, look at the monkey right here. Look at him. Look at the monkey. Look at him up here. Now look at him. Where is he? Good. And where do you go now? Look at him way down there. Way down? Let's go way up. Way up high. One more. Good job. All right. We're going to look at that guy right there. Look at the monkey. Watch him. Watch him, good. And look at him now. Watch him. Watch him, watch him. Watch him, watch him. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, now we're going to look through this little window, okay? Do you see the window? Look at Jigger's nose. Watch his nose, watch his nose. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Keep, looking. Right. keep watching his nose, keep watching his nose. Keep looking, watch him. What color is his nose? Is it pink? Brown? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, let's have a single letter or picture. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to look way down there. Do you see that picture? What's that picture? Okay. Yeah? Look at it. Is it a horse? Yeah. Where's Watch the horse. horse. Yeah. You see the horsey up there? You still see it? Good job. Where's the horsey? Look up here. Okay. Watch the horse. There he is. There he is. Watch him. Good job. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. Beautiful. Nice job. Two of them together and look right here. Perfect. Can you see my ear? Can you see my ear wiggle? Is there a mouse in my ear? One more. Is there a mouse? I see a mouse over here. Look at him. Good job. All right, high five. Beautiful job. <laughs> so that is the comprehensive examination technique of the pediatric strabismus patient. I hope that you have found this information to be useful. If you'd like to learn more, uh, please go to the Orvis CyberSite library and look at the courses. We have complete courses on pediatric ophthalmology and adult strabismus evaluation and treatment. Uh, it's been my pleasure and I wish you well.